Well, hello everyone. As we all know today, it is Remembrance Day. A day of much thanks and appreciation for all of the men and women who were brave enough to risk their lives for our freedom today. Many came back, but sadly, many did not return home. Many people who served in all of the wars passed away in a very unpleasant and a very unpeaceful way. They were strong, they were brave men and women, and for that we should put much thanks and appreciation to, to them. Remembrance Day is a reminder for every day, and Remembrance Day is unfortunately a very sad day. I am speaking here today at Anzac Square in the Brisbane CBD and I know that we do have subscribers and we do have uh, you know uh, we do we do have uh, subscribers who have fighted in the Navy who have fighted in the Army Force and we also do have police officers as well and my thoughts are very much uh, with you and know that your service is always valued and greatly appreciated and I will always value that very much so and I am very proud to be standing here today to commemorate Remembrance Day because there are many families who still do unfortunately suffer the loss and the hurt. On the, on, on the 11th of November 1918, it was official that World War I ended. On the 11th month of the 11th day of the 11th hour, we pause and reflect for a minute of silence. And that is exactly what I just did uh, down there to pay my respects for those for those who gave up their lives and, partic and particularly for those who died and never came home. I am, we will always uh, respect this and uh, we will always respect this day on the behalf of the Office of the Sushi Garden. Currently, right now, in the present, we are going through a war right now where Many men and women are coming to fight of the war between Russia and Ukraine. It is a not a good thing of what is happening at the moment. And what we need to do is that we need to work together to get this done. So I pay my deepest condolences and bless we 